Hello there, and welcome to episode 4 of the 5th season of Andy Shed Live. Welcome to the show. If you are watching live, it's Sunday evening, but I guess you could be watching us at any time of the day or night via YouTube or via our website over there uh, in uh, the old interweb land. And if you don't know where our website is yet, just before we get started, we'll tell you. It's here. It's at andyshed.callpress.net and you can find out all our back episodes there and find out all the other stuff that we've been up to as well. If you go over there, and also remember, you can also rep you can also support us on Patreon. Um, if you enjoy the show, um, consider doing this, please. It's uh, patreon.com forward slash Andy Shed. If you uh, tip us just uh, the equivalent of one US dollar a month, we will put your name on the credits of every show that we do while you remain a patron. Um, and remember, a US dollar is less than uh, a British pound, so uh, it's actually less than a quid a month if you want to support us that way. And uh, it would be much appreciated. OK, let's get on the show. What's on today? Well, we're doing an unboxing. Now, don't go anywhere. I know, I know, I know. Unboxings on YouTube are the most boring thing in the world, but this is no ordinary YouTube unboxing because I've already started it. Um, here it is, here is the box that we uh, we are going to start uh, unboxing. Let's have a little look at it. And I have cheated a bit and already kind of already kind of started doing this. but inside uh, inside of this box, as you can see, we've got a couple of telephones and here is the first one. Ta da! And uh, this is what you at first sight think is a green, a bottle green um, 706, but it's not because they never made them in bottle green. What this actually is is a, uh, is a blue uh, 706. Um, this this is a, this is a blue one. Um, it's called Concord Blue. Concord without the E on the end. And uh, this is the right colour. The sort of uh, the sort of um, dial and the uh, and the surround here. That's the right colour. This other bit has faded because this uh, is a phone that is made out of ABS plastic. And it has got one or two breaks and things on it, which I'll tell you about later, which is why I got it. The case is broken. Um, but if we turn it over, you'll see it's uh, PLA there is uh, is the code for uh, the company that built it. Is that Plessy PLA? I just can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but 1964 and it's a 2.8, which means it's got a metal base and it will have a, uh, a printed circuit board inside it rather than lots and lots of wires going everywhere. Very early use of a printed circuit board. Not all companies could make printed circuit boards at this time, which is why you had the Mark 1 706, um, which was hardwired and had a plastic base. It's just all wires inside it and the Mark II which had the printed circuit board because they realised not all the manufacturers will be able to make printed circuit boards. So that is one of the uh, of the phones that we've uh, that we've got here. I'm just going to put that one on the uh, on the floor a minute just before we uh, we move on to the uh, we move on to the next one which uh, which we've got in the box uh, here we have the grey phone how cool is that and maybe I can get rid of the box now actually so we'll, we'll lose the box a minute now put this down here ah! And uh, I can now sit back down. 
and uh, we can start unpacking the rest of this probably on the desk if I just move the camera right so now you can see what we've got here so I've just got to try and get this packaging off look isn't it nice and grey that means chances are when it's that sort of shade of grey that means it's probably diacon because it's not faded now the problem with diacon of course is that it breaks and it's such a shame because it's in beautiful condition except for that down there look the massive great big chunk out of it but I may have it inside I don't know so we'll have to have a look I'm not hopeful that it's going to be inside there though I thought that was it at first but it's just how it's broken the way the diacon's smashed but that's a diacon case and it's broken and what a shame because apart from that it's in perfect condition now in fairness right, the couriers particularly Hermes couriers who brought these um, didn't do it this time because I knew these were broken when I bought them so this time um, these uh, these were not broken by the couriers just for a change um, but I don't know a way of repairing Diacon so this is probably going to have to have an ABS case put on it but what a shame because Diacon it's beautiful plastic it's really really nice quality stuff I don't know if we can um, if we can focus in a bit more on that um, get that more in focus can we no I think that's as good as it gets um, but yeah that's uh, that's the uh, the grey diacon phone so I don't know if there is a way of repairing it I'm hoping there might be but let's just have a little look inside it while we're here and uh, see what it's like inside so it's a 706 there's two screws in the top that we take out it doesn't look like this has ever been issued actually because it's still got the thing on the front there that says warning do not leave a, leave a window edge and all this kind of stuff it doesn't look as if it's ever been issued this phone well there are paint splatters on it so maybe it has alright so they are, they're retained those little screws in the top of there but what we do is lift from the back and hopefully it comes out over there like that, and I'll put the casing out of the way for a minute. And there we have it. There we have the inner, and it's not been converted for plug and socket. This, as you can see, it's not had the conversion done as yet. So that's how they are unconverted. Don't know if anybody wants to wants to see that, but that is. An unconverted 706 it looks almost as it left the factory this um, and of course it's different to the 746 because it's got the, the little regulator board in there as well who made it this one let's turn it over and have a look oh I can't read it it's on the bottom there but I can't read it I can read 706L, but I can't read who made it. It may be. Uh, WR or FWR. Uh, 63. It looks like. 1963 so this will be uh, a diacon one 
and it's got the modern feet as well the feet with the recessing which daikon films don't normally have so they must have changed the feet before they changed the cases or something um so it's all there and it will uh, it will make for a good phone this one uh, it will make for a nice one to restore um uh, we'll probably have to change the case though with it being daikon um, because you can't repair daikon which is a massive shame because uh, other than that it's in really good condition um so we'll put the case back on it for now if we can i've not got a bit inside it oh there is however inside a label um, yeah, can you see that there's a label in there with various details on and I'll tell you what it says on it it says telephone number 706 it's got various details but it doesn't actually tell you who's made it I thought it might be it might tell you who made it on that but it doesn't such a shame there's a chunk out of that case such a shame there's a ch big chunk out of it there as you can uh, you can see there and you see how it's broken almost like glass breaks and that's the thing about diacon that's the the problem with it right let's try and get it back on as the case is broken it might go on a bit easier I'll get those in place it's gone over the diet always get these stuck I always get these stuck are you going to have it now yes there we go it's back together so I can put that out there make sure the screws are reasonably in place and screw those in again that one doesn't want to go in let's try this one yep, that one's going okay so that's better must, must have got it cross threaded before <coughs> but there it is um, what a shame what a shame that it's uh, got that corner missing because otherwise it'd be a really nice one and again look no chevrons so uh, yeah another nice early one so let's put that on to one side a moment and look at the one that we might be able to restore without changing the case which is this blue one because this has um, has turned green with age, and that. So we know this is a, this is a, a ABS case. So we think this will be after 1963. And sure enough, it is. It's PLA. It's the maker code, and it's 1964. And it's a Mark II A. So that means what does that mean that means that it should be a mark two um should i believe be now which way around is this i always get this the wrong way around a mark two mark two's the hardwired ones or a mark two's the ones with the circuit board I think Mark 1's are the ones with the circuit board and Mark 2's are the ones with... Got it. Right. No, I'm wrong. Mark 2's are the ones with the circuit board, apparently. Right. And 
Right. First thing I notice is one of these things off the top here has fallen in. They shouldn't be able to fall out. And the reason it has fallen out is there's a bit of plastic broken away there. So it'll need a small repair there. That's been able to fall out, which it shouldn't be able to do. But it has. So that's the first thing I notice. But then there's all these breaks in the case down here that have been glued previously, and that concerns me a bit where it's been glued previously because. I need to get all that old glue off because I'm not going to glue it remember I'm going to be uh, sticking it together um, with uh, molten ABS basically it's been melted with acetone so I'll put the case to one side a minute and we'll have a look at the actual phone itself again unconverted and it's the Mark II's, it's the Mark II's are the ones that have the circuit board then, the printed circuit board rather than the hard wiring. Um, and here it is on a metal base, Mark II with the circuit board, the Mark I's with the wiring rather than the circuit board, they would be on a plastic base. But this is the Mark II, metal base, it's all there. Again the regulator board, and again it's one that is totally unconverted which is nice um, but this one has definitely been issued because I see it's got a dial label in it um, for Hornchurch if you want to have a little look at that cool so that's another one so what we need to do with this is we need to convert it to plug and socket um, and then we need to have a look at that casing and uh, see what that casing is doing and I'm just looking at the at the curly cord on it as well and this end of the curly cord here goes into the receiver you can see the break there in the outer the outer uh, shielding on that the conductor is still there with a break in the outer so I might have to get a new curly cord and replace the curly cord again that's a shame because the curly cords changed um, these early curly cords have got like a are like a thicker cord they're like like a bigger curl to them later ones have a thinner curl and the replacement ones that you can get and this is one of the few parts that I buy new um, and here is one this is a brown one though um, the replacement ones are a thinner curl if you look at this one now and compare it to that can you see the difference if I hold that up there can you see how one is much bigger than the other and that's because these early phones had these had these thicker cords so I might try and take the cord off the handset obviously and then this this sort of rubberized bit on the end here I might try and get the old cord out of that and just push a little bit more of the end down into there and just shorten the cord by an inch or so or maybe two inches and try to save that cord because it would be worth saving if we uh, if we possibly can um, right I'll just put this brown one away this is for a yeoman but uh, needs a new cord will be uh, doing that in a future episode if you want to see how to replace a uh, a curly cord on a 700 series phone we'll be doing that in a future episode so we've got quite a bit to do with this so i'm going to put the phone out of the way a second if i just leave it over there a minute like uh, 
like that and we will bring back up the case um, which we've got here again it's got a label on the inside look uh, similar to that other label it's just gone a bit strange with the glue over the years that's on it but we've got to do something with this front corner here and that's what we've got to have a little look at I'm also noticing that again this one like the other one actually like the grey one has lost the two lugs that should fit into the two little holes in the front of the in the front of the phone just here and here I don't know if you can see those on the camera those two little holes there should be two lugs that engage in there when you put the case on you put the case on sort of front down to engage that in the in those lugs down there and then put the drop the back of the case over it um, and as these have come from the same seller on eBay what I'm thinking is maybe the person who sold them didn't really know how to get into them he's broken both of these um, or somebody in the past has broken both of these uh, because they're both broken in similar ways in similar places um, but you can see in there if I uh, can you see the extent of the break there well that's no problem because that is that is an ABS case we can we can sort that but what I don't like the look of is this bit here that's already been glued and what we might try is putting this in hot water and seeing if that will just ease this glue in fact it's coming away now because it's oh the glue is like chewing gum almost it's really soft and strange right can I do this without the idea is not to break the bits of plastic any more than they are already right that has come off so hopefully I can remove that sticky glue that's on there and then stick all this back together using acetone just to slightly melt the surface of the ABS then stick it all back together and hopefully this one I will be able to save so that is the two 706's so shall we try and put this one back together again right let's have a go um, I think that hands up for a minute so you should put it together like that this will go a little bit easier perhaps because it's not got the the two little lugs that it should have and that goes straight oh and I see that's broken as well at the top there oh it's got some real it's really smashed up this actually in places really smashed up um, but at least I've got the bit if I, I wish I got the bit for this other side as well but at least I've got the bit for that side uh, that goes on there so again that's doable that's savable but I'm going to take the bit off for now and hang on to it and we'll just Move that back up if it will do up, and it, which I'm sorry, it won't. Come on, there it goes, it's doing up now. That's more like it, that's how it should be. So, what I'll do, I just happen to have a little polythene bag here, these little uh, sealing bags that you. Like that, seal up like that. They're really good for putting bits in. Um, so all the bits that I need to repair and that go in the bag. Seal the bag, and then they will go with that telephone, like so. And then we know that's another job to do.
So, there's a couple of phones um, that have come in recently that hopefully we can save. Um, so, there you have it. Um, as always, um, if you want to know more about the uh, projects that we've got on, get onto the website, andyshed.callpress.net. Um, we do do an update actually on the old website there. Um, it would be good to get an update on so you can uh, see more stuff of what we've done. And um, so yeah, we do 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 an update there. Um, but you can also of course see the uh, back episodes of this show on the website there at, uh, at Andy's Shed. And if you want to support us, you may notice that there aren't any adverts on this uh, video at the time of uh, making it anyway. And that's because since YouTube did its thing go oh, about a year ago now, where it said you have to have a thousand subscribers um, to um, monetize your videos to get adverts on them, um, we've not been able to make any income through YouTube. So what we are asking is if you'd be so kind to join us on Patreon and support the show on Patreon, um, it's just one dollar. That's all it asks for, one dollar a month. Or you can make a, a donation of whatever you want, just a single one-off donation, or you can donate more than a dollar if you want to. But it's one US dollar a month because it's an American website, although we're in the UK, it's an American site. Um, that does help us. Um, as I say, we need a thousand people to um, be our um, subscribers on YouTube before we can make money through YouTube. And we used to make money through YouTube. We used to make about £120 a year on YouTube, which doesn't sound a lot, but it's enough to keep these little projects going. Um, and now YouTube have taken that away from us. Um, imagine Google are making a lot of money out of this because... If you imagine the thousands upon thousands of people who they've taken a hundred quid a year off by changing these rules, you know, they've saved themselves multi tens, hundreds of thousands of pounds. Um, so we're asking people to go to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy Shed and uh, put us a little, uh, a little tip in there if you enjoy the show. And it just helps us keep going a little bit easier. Um, and we can... Uh, keep uh, finding these new projects to do so that's www.patreon.com forward slash andy shed um right that about wraps it up for now um i hope you've enjoyed the show um thanks for watching if you have and if you've not subscribed already as i say please do subscribe to us because we're trying to get to that magic thousand subscribers mark there are around about twenty thousand people a month um well yeah something like that 20,000 people a month that watch no there's 20,000 watch hours a month that's right there's 20,000 hours of uh, our content that people watch per month and most people watch for less than an hour so it's probably something like if everybody watches for half an hour say that's 40,000 people a month right I just need 1,000 of that 40,000 people to hit that subscribe button. Um, so if you've not done it already, hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified about our future videos, hit the little bell icon thing as well. But if you don't want to be notified, if you just want to find them yourself, you don't want to be pestered, don't hit the bell icon. Now, how many times will you hear a YouTuber say, don't hit the bell icon? <laughs> That's not often. Um, but if you don't want to be pestered, don't hit the bell icon. But please do hit subscribe because it's subscribe really, really helps us. And also, the amount of time that you watch helps us as well because we have to get people to watch 20,000 um, minutes um, per month, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's yeah 20,000 watch minutes a month I think we have to we have to get um, so uh, yeah you know when you go to bed at night if you want to leave your computer on and leave uh, leave some of our videos playing to themselves that you've already seen that will count as watch again and it will help us right so as I say thank you very much for watching this show I do hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we will see you again 
next week same time and same place or around about the same time just be careful next week we might be on a little bit earlier so if you tune in about an hour beforehand the stream is normally on there's normally like a caption card about an hour beforehand um, but yeah we might be on about six o'clock next week but just pop in at six o'clock if we're not there we'll be here at 6 30. okay i keep saying it thanks for watching Comment below if you've got any questions about the phones and stuff, and we'll see you next week. Till then, bye for now.